Hi guys, Creative Lori here, welcome. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great week saving money. <laughs> um, I really wanted to do the video on Sunday, this is Monday, um, but I just had too much going on. Um, first thing I wanna say too, thank you so much for everyone who's been leaving such wonderful comments and also, um, you know, best wishes, uh, you know, for getting better, which I feel great now. <laughs> I still have a weird little lingering cough. That's still there and um, I'm still kind of tired. Anyways, but uh, other than that, I feel, you know, <laughs> really good in comparison. So <laughs> thank you everyone. If you're new to my channel, I like to save every single week and I write it down so that I know what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, and that way it forces me to sort of take inventory of my food and items so that I'm not double buying or triple buying. Um, because I really, I, you know, at the end of the day, once your mortgage is paid, your bills, um, there's only so much left. And that's why I started going to the food bank. And I am so happy I did. So... I'm going to get started and show you guys what I've done this week. I've been kind of busy, but you know, um, I probably have more coming this week, actually. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So, um, how I saved this week. So, Monday, I have to kind of read it like this through the camera. Okay, I did food prep. Um, so, I food prepped. I made lentils, my little mini crock pot. I chopped cabbage and lemons and ate leftovers. Okay, when I say I prepped, let me show you. I mean, I put them in like this size container. So, you know, I did cabbage and lemons, um, like my lemon tree. And then, um, because, you know, once you cut into one of them, you might as well cut into and, and cube up, or not cube it, but wedge some of the lemons up. And then I did the um, cabbage in here. So, and keeping it together was great too because it just keeps it fresh, but I won't lie. If they touch each other, the juice in the purple cabbage, it turns, you know, kind of pink, which is fine. But um, if you put a lemon in with your avocado, same thing it will help keep it fresh. So I'm just doing little batches like that, which really seems to help keep everything fresh. So I don't mind doing that every few days. Okay, I ate my leftovers. Then on Tuesday, I food prepped again. Um, I washed and stored the rest of the cucumbers I had. And I ate leftovers again. And then finally finished my bread from three weeks ago. Um, and I had, I, I froze it. So remember that loaf of bread I made three weeks ago? You know, I'm just not, sometimes I'm really into carbs and sometimes I'm not. Oh, hold on a sec. My puppy is crying. One second. Oh, my poor baby. You could tell he's been crying. He doesn't feel good, my love, huh? You okay, baby? Oh, my baby, my baby. Oh, my love. My love. I had to take him to get a, the follow-up booster shot. I was not happy, you know, uh, I guess it was two, three, three weeks ago, last time, um... And I was not wanting to bring him back, but I figured I'm just, I'm in for it now. You know, I was invested in it and I hate doing this to him, but um, it affects little dogs more. It's, I think the six in one shot or seven in one, I can't remember what they call it, but um, he does get out sometimes. So I want him to be protected, but little dogs really feel the effect of it. So for a day, oh my baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my love. I have my fleece on him. And Gizzy, hi girl, she got hers too. Huh, baby? She loves him. She loves to keep him company. Huh, Gizzy girl? Did you Gizzy's? Did you Gizzy? Huh, Gizzy? <laughs> oh my love, I'm sorry. Anyways, he had to have his little shot, so. So, that one lasts, I think, three years, I think it is. So, I won't have to do it maybe but one more time. And then he'll be an older dog. And I don't think I'll do it again after that. 
because he probably won't be as vivacious in getting out. But it breaks my heart. I just wanted to do the follow-up. Oh, I hate doing this. But anyway, okay. So um, what was, where was I? Uh, yes, Tuesday, um, food prepped. Okay, cucumbers. Oh, ate my, the rest of my um, bread. So I froze it just to keep it fresh. And I just, if I wanted toast with avocado or something on it, then I, I cut myself a slice. Wednesday, I food prepped again. <laughs> I did my broccoli, Parmesan, cheese, and onions, ate leftovers, and made french fries. Remember those potatoes I got from the food bank? So um, I got some broccoli, so I just prepped it. Um, and then I also, oh, did the Parmesan. So there's two cups in each of these bags. So um, <clears throat> this is a Parmesan Romano, and I put the date on it, and there's nine packages of these, and I did use some too. So I figured like two cups was a good, oops, good amount. Um, you know, if I wanted to do lasagna and keep the other part in my fridge or something, let me pick up what I dropped. All right, Thursday, I food prepped again. I did, um, I made meals. So I did tofu and veggie stir fry. And that was enough for about three, four meals. Oh, can you guys hear him? He's crying. And then I made a thin crust pizza with that um, food bank haul thin crust from Target. And that made about four portions. Um, and I finished both of them actually. <laughs> And then for Friday, I went to the food bank. Uh, when I got there, I got there later and there was no room for me to get in. The, where the line began and then uh, met where the line had ended and I couldn't even fit in. So I drove off and I think I may have mentioned this in another video, but I didn't post it yet. I sat in the park for a little bit and for about 40 minutes and came back and then got back in line. Okay. So that was Friday. And then after that, I ran a couple of errands, um, you know, at that time. So that was good. Get it all done in one shot. Uh, I also ate uh, leftovers and I made green bagels. Well, they were supposed to be donuts um, from almost scratch. And <laughs> let me show them to you. So I wanted to do it for St. Patty's Day. So there's two in here. So I have two more of these left um i froze them so when you cut them they are very green but the outside once the dough hit the clean oil it just turned brown like this and i knew that the guys wouldn't like them and honestly they didn't taste like a donut they tasted like a bagel so i just prepped them and froze them so i've got those when i need them and want them and they're good they turned out really puffy. They turned out actually really nice and puffy. They're just ugly, but... <laughs> oh, poor baby. Okay, Friday. Then um, errands. Okay, so I ran some errands, uh, and I think that was it. Uh, left Ate my leftovers. Okay, when I say I made those from almost scratch, it was like a little kit, but you had to add like your own... It was like a flour kit, basically, and then you added your own yeast, and I had to measure it out. So it was very specific. And um, it turned out though, and you had to knead it and everything. It was a lot more detailed than I would have liked it. So I, will, I probably will never get that again. But it was so cheap. It was $25 or 25 cents for the package. So not bad. All right, Saturday, I food prepped again. Um, I made uh, shredded cabbage, some red onions, and the last of my cilantro, which I thought it was the last, but I have one more bunch. And then, um, which I just store, you know, like in here. And I ate throughout the week with different things, like as tacos or on top of beans, you know, or on top of my bagel. Saturday. Oh, that was Saturday. Oh, and I made a tofu dish. Um, and I ate that. <laughs> it was probably just two servings so I had it Saturday Sunday I felt like this week I ate really good um and then Sunday I food prepped by making um 
a mini crock pot of pinto beans. I chopped the rest of the cabbage and more lemons. I ate the leftovers, um, which was the pizza and the stir fry. So they were all gone by this date. And then I was going to make cauliflower pizza, but, um, which I did buy two crusts. I was just experimenting like for my dad and I had leftover red sauce, but I never got to that. So I didn't do that. So I probably will do it tomorrow. Now for the meals for the week. Oh, hold on a second. Um, I still have tostadas. I didn't eat as many tostadas last week as I thought, but I did a video on it and you guys will see how delicious they looked. So now I'm hooked again. So I can do five servings of tostadas. That means two tostadas with beans on it, cabbage, fresh and pickled onions, guacamole and cheese. Um, and that's some mozzarella that I have left. I still have that, you guys. It's still good, too, because I just froze it. And then green bagels with cream cheese, which I did buy the cream cheese, and the cucumbers I also bought, um, and then chili on top. So that'll be another brunch for me. And then the cauliflower pizza, when I make it, it'll make about three servings probably because it's a small pizza crust with cheese, onions, spinach, and um, yeah, that'll be really good. I think that's all I'm going to put on there. Then I'll have at least three more servings of the pinto beans with pickled onions on top and maybe a little cabbage. I love that. That fresh crunch on top, maybe even fresh onions too. And then my snacks. I still haven't eaten the kiwis, so I really need to eat them this week. Um, I don't know. It's like after I got sick, I when I was sick, I ate, I couldn't get enough vitamin C, like, uh, you know, mandarins and kiwis, but I have to finish them because they're starting to get a little wrinkly. And then I have walnuts with dried blueberries if I want that instead with tea, but I'm just not a big snack person. So that's why, and I just haven't been craving fruit. I don't know why. It's kind of hard to explain, but I guess when, you know, um, when I'm done, when I'm ready, I'll want to eat it, but I need to eat it pretty soon. I guess I could freeze it. Um, I did do the bread pudding. So here are the cubes that I made the rest of the bread pudding and just cut into cubes so I can have a couple with coffee or tea when, when I'm ready to have something sweet again. I don't remember what day I did that, but it was, I think Monday or something like that. No, maybe Tuesday. Anyways, I think I did pretty good with food prepping, but I have a lot to get done too. I have some spaghetti squash I really want to cook and eat up. I'm going to be seeing my dad on Wednesday, so I need to have a lot of meals prepped and done. So I'm going to try to do that today, <clears throat> you know, intermittently while taking care of my puppy because you can hear him. He's crying, so I want to go. Anyways, I hope you guys are saving a bunch of money and tell me how you're saving each week and what your menu plan is. I love, love hearing when you guys do that. Write it out and tell me because I just, Sometimes I don't think of certain things, you know, we can all learn from each other. So I got to go, you guys. My puppy's crying. I will see you all later. Have a blessed week and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Like, comment, and subscribe.